Exxon is moving into Madison. The company's director of U.S. strategic initiatives said it is buying the BMO Harris Bank on West Main Street. That's right along the Capitol Square. They would not disclose how much the building is costing them and even said the deal is still imminent. They are confident, however, they will close the deal. Jamie Perez joins us now with more details on this. Jamie? That's right. Well, they're saying that this is all in an effort to continue a process that allows everyone involved to be successful. But the Foxconn brand has faced some scrutiny in the past, some wondering about the progress on all of the buildings they've already purchased around Wisconsin that many assume are sitting there empty. We asked about that today on top of what the plans going forward will be for their new spot right here in Madison. This building has been called a hallmark of downtown Madison, and soon it will be home to a Foxconn place once a deal between the two companies is finalized. This deal for me was really a bit of a no-brainer. David Casper is the CEO and chair of VMO Harris Bank. He said the deal is not yet closed, but said he's confident his building will be utilized. Look, they wouldn't do this if they didn't have a plan, and I'm confident that they do. Foxconn is partnering with VMO Harris Bank and UW-Madison on the future plans for this spot. They promised $100 million to the university to build an on-campus location to provide opportunities for faculty and students. But Foxconn has faced some scrutiny in the past, with some saying the buildings they buy sit empty with no progress to be seen. We asked Foxconn's director of U.S. Strategic Initiatives how he can assure these plans will follow through. I appreciate you worrying about these empty buildings. I can assure you they are not empty, uh, but we also don't want people to climb up on trees and look over to make sure that we have occupancy. We don't actually make an effort to acquire buildings to leave them empty. We do have a plan. We actually would make sure that the buildings are adequate and well equipped before we move people in. While he wasn't able to answer what a timeline looks like for this building, Dr. Young said their Mount Pleasant production will be up and running by the end of 2020. Should the plans for this building pan out, this would be the largest industrial research project in the history of the UW. Foxconn Place Madison will expand opportunities for our students and spark technological advancements with our faculty and researchers. And we're thrilled that it is becoming a reality. Dr. Young also said this building will serve as a hub for research, science, and technology. But as mentioned before, a deal has not officially been closed just yet. Dr. Young said in the coming months, there will be more announcements made about their progress in these plans. All right, Jamie Perez reporting. Jamie, thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Jamie